Now, in the church world, I think what we as followers of Jesus are hoping for is that the American church and church folks would say, we see in Native people an incredible representation of Jesus, the Father, the Holy Spirit, and the kingdom of heaven in that there are perspectives and values that exist in the Native North American uh, followers of Jesus community that we really lack. As a matter of fact, we're grossly deficient because we have become so materialistic, so focused on personal well-being, so individualistic in our experience of Christianity that we've forgotten a sense of community. Man, what can we learn from Native people about community? Uh, we have become so rationalistic that if we can't somehow through the science of theology prove the existence of God, we want to explain in the West the mystery. Take all the mystery out of God so we can rationally comprehend Him. Whereas Native people say mystery is beautiful. Mystery is the wonder. Why would you want to try to take the mystery from God as if in our finite, limited human capacities, we could wrap our pea brain around a divine, omniscient, omnipotent creator. How foolish is that idea? And yet Western thinking, modernity, uh, Western theology that's so embedded in modernity would try and lead us to believe that's, that's actually possible. And we invent categories of theology, systematic theology and orthodoxy and absolute truth, thinking that that's sufficient. So Native people would say, so what can the American church learn from the spirituality of Native people? And, and several other things. So, so really what we would hope for that the church would see us as co-equal participants in the life, work, and mission of the church, not the perpetual mission field of the church, who is constantly in need of the American church to come help us, send us old clothes and old food and build schools and do vacation Bible school and Easter and Christmas programs because we, we're just the needy recipients. We don't really have anything of value to contribute to their experience of Jesus and the kingdom. So what we're looking for is people who really see us through the lens of, of Scripture, not through the lens of American sort of arrogant culture, like America has the, the sort of the stronghold on, on mission and theology, and we don't. But as that changes, then out of the sense of mutuality can come legitimate Christ-honoring partnership and relationship. So then we say, together, what can we do to advance uh, the understanding of people, what it means to really authentically walk with Jesus in the context of who God created them to be. So what we're looking for is relationship and partnership. And once we have that, then we'll take the money.